the service of the Corps be published by every command to all Marines throughout the globe on the birthday of the Corps. Since that day, Marines have continued to distinguish themselves on many battlefields and former shores, in war and peace. On this birthday of the Corps, therefore, in recognition of the will of the 13th Commandant, a reminder that the Corps' honorable service is published as follows. On November 10th, 1775, a Corps Marine was created by a resolution of the Continental Congress. Since that day, many thousand men have borne the name Marine. In memory of them, it is fitting that we who are Marines should commemorate the birthday of our Corps by calling to mind the glory of its long and illustrious history. The record of our Corps is one which will bear comparison with that of the most famous military organization in the world's history. During 90 of the first 146 years of existence, the Marine Corps has been in action, in action against the nation's foes. From the Battle of Trenton to Argonne, Marines have won foremost honors in war and in the long hours of tranquility at home. Generation after generation of Marines have grown great in war in both hemispheres and in every corner of the seven seas that our country and its citizens might enjoy peace and security. In every battle and skirmish, the birth of our Corps, Marines have acquitted themselves with the greatest distinction, winning new honors on each occasion until the term Marine has come to signify all that is highest in military efficiency and soldierly virtue. This high name of distinction and soldierly repute we war Marines today have received from those who have preceded us in the Corps. With it, we also receive from them the eternal spirit which has animated our Corps from generation to generation and has been the distinguishing mark of Marines every age. So long as the Spirit continues to flourish, Marines will be found equal in every emergency in the future as they have been in the past. And the men of our nation will regard, will regard us as worthy successors to the long line of illustrious men who have served as soldiers of the sea since the founding of the Corps. The timeless and inspiring message of the 13th Commandant has left its mark in the hearts and minds of all Marines, past and present. By taking to next from Bellawood to the Argonne, from Guadalcanal to Iwo Jima, from Egypt on to the Korean offices, from the hard fights in Vietnam to Desert Shield, Desert Storm, to the centuries longest wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, and in the hundreds of other places where Marines have distinguished themselves. Marines have continued to epitomize those qualities, which are their legacy. The success which the men and women have earned the title of Marine have achieved in combat, and the faith they have borne in peace will endure forever. The Commandant and her many friends have added their hearty praise and congratulations on this, our 247th birthday. Thank you. 